welcome to our first episode of Tutorial Eli. In this episode, we will be teaching you about the basics, shapes. First, we will discuss about upgrading basic shapes, then using basic shapes, and then making the different shape techniques. Yes guys, let's go! So let's begin with a very basic house. Triangular roof and a square body. This is our sample design. And this is how we upgrade it. As you can see, I am innovating the roof by changing its shape. The design is dependent on the idea that you wanted to portray. This one should look like a nipa hut. This is the detailing part of the building. It will be discussed in the next few episodes, so be sure to subscribe and wait for more episodes. And it's done! That's it. Easy peasy. Let's do a before and after. This is before. And this is after. a lot more varieties when it comes to roofing your house. What I did is just an example of how to do it. To show you, here are more examples of roof designs. For the house body, we just made it less generic and basic. It depends on what type of idea that you want to portray. We would talk about the other types of structures and their uses in some other episode. I see. You couldn't let those basic shapes go. I prepared this part is for you. You probably already know what this is about unless you skip 10 seconds. Anyways, let's get to it. Let's first watch a video of me building with basic shapes. Yes, TV, hit it! First, I cleared a 11 block white space for the structure. And we will start with the base. I was planning to make a science lab, so I started with dark gray blocks to be matched with steel blocks. You can also see that I steel tables again so that the players can freely go inside our structure. I give the lab a double layer group so that it may portray heavier design than that of a single line of dark gray blocks. There will be a separate episode for choosing the right blocks to blend and colors. So be sure to wait and subscribe! And again, the detailing part of building. using basic shapes. These kind of designs are normally used for cute or simple overall world theme. There are other designs that are versatile and can be used for both high quality and simple world. But for now, let us not talk about that. Anyway, here are more sample designs brought to us by Codebot. Thanks to Codebot for these designs. looking good. This is where the terrain shaping is needed. For me, there are only three types of terrains. First is the calm or wavy. Second is messy. And third is chaotic or hunting which uses larger spikes. I also use this to make caves. 
to get creative, we can fuse two of the styles together. I have built some worlds with mixed approach of terrain. These are the examples. You should observe the caves and the ground surfaces. We built it like that so we can take up more space and to make the world more dynamic. But take note that I do not follow a pattern. The shapes are randomized but with use of margin of range. Here's the margin I use. For the wavy type, I use 3 to 4 blocks wide limit. And for the larger spikes, I use 5 blocks tall limit. The smaller ones normally use a 0 to 4 blocks height limit. Anyways, that's it for this episode. Don't forget to subscribe and tell your friends about this video.